Hey Shiners, it's Cameron and Elena here with another episode of s &M. Last Monday we honored our veterans with the program. Here are some highlights from the program. Thank you everyone who risked and continues to risk their lives for us. We appreciate your sacrifices for us. Thank you for everything you do for our country. Now let's slide on over to Chloe and Bray with lunch weather and birthdays. What's up Shiners? Today's birthdays are Caden Straper and David Nicholas. Tomorrow's birthdays go to Raylan McDermott. Hey Shiners, tomorrow's lunch is chicken soup, grilled cheese, cooked carrots, peas, strawberries, and milk. Thursday's lunch is chicken tenders, fries, corn, grapes, and milk. Did you know that Jennifer Lawrence's favorite food is chicken tenders? Jennifer Lawrence, that's a shocker. I sure didn't know it. Well, bye guys and see you on Thursday. Hey Shiners, tomorrow's lunch is chicken soup, grilled cheese, cooked carrots, peas, strawberries, and milk. Thursday's lunch is chicken tenders, Kaden? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the main. Kaden! 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 I'm starting off like, I see him in the side of the side. Kaden back. Because I, I just now realized how to do this. <laughs> Lunch sounds yummy. Happy birthday, everyone. Alright, let's ball on over to Gavin with the sports report. Hey, hey Shiners. Shiners. I'm Gavin. I'm Nora. And, and this is Shiner Sports. sports. The boys basketball team won Thursday night against South Ripley, 34-29. to Highest score was Nate Elliott with 16 points. Their next game is tonight at Greendale. Good luck, boys. Steelers lost the Browns 21-7. A fight between Miles Garrett and two other players took place at the game. Miles Garrett hit Mason Rudolph in the head with his own helmet. How crazy is that? Well, that's all we have today. That was a great sports report, Gavin. Now let's pop on over to Lane and Ness with random facts. Hey guys, Lily, Lily and Vanessa, Vanessa here, here with the funky, funky fact of the day. day. Today, we will be talking about the difference between psychopaths and sociopaths. What are sociopaths and psychopaths? Well, the official diagnosis is antisocial personality disorder. Experts believe that psychopaths and sociopaths share similar traits, but most don't result in violence, but in manipulation and reckless behavior. Most people believe psychopaths are villains in movies that kill or torture innocent people, but that's not true. Yes, some can be violent, but most aren't. What really separates psychopaths and sociopaths is that psychopaths don't have a conscience. That little voice telling you right and wrong doesn't ex exist to them. Psychopaths have way less regard for people. Normally, someone with this personality type sees people as objects they can use for their own benefit. Unlike a psychopath, a sociopath has a conscience, but it is very weak. A sociopath may feel guilt or remorse, but their behavior won't stop. Sociopaths are often blunt, blame others, and have excuses for their behavior. Recent research suggests that sociopaths' brains aren't like others. When sociopaths see blood or violence in TV shows, they get calmer, but others' would, hearts would race and breathe heavier. Well, that's it for today. See you Thursday, Shiners. Great report on psychopaths and sociopaths. Now let's go see what Tyler has with the world news. Welcome to today's news with Tyler. Afghanistan's air pollution might be worse than war. Eight years ago, a Yusuf, a Afghani man, fled with his family to escape war, but he couldn't escape the deadly air. This was by, caused by making fires from plastic and other trash, mainly from camps for displaced people. Let's hope that Afghanistan can get better. That's all for today. See you later, Shiners. Air pollution is terrible. I know, right? Our show has come to an end. This is Cameron and Elena with, with your Tuesday s and report. Have a great day, Shiners!